Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Here is your fun fact of the day. The author of Lamentations is actually nameless in the book. We don't know for sure exactly, because it doesn't say implicitly in the book, or explicitly in the book, who this author is. But there are numerous examples that line it up with Jeremiah, the prophet, the man who we talked about last week, who has his own book of Jeremiah. Now, why is Lamentations so important? As we knew from last week, Jeremiah was alive and in Babylon during the exile, so he had a lot to go on about, especially as far as lamenting, hence the title Lamentations. Lamentations is another example, much like the book of Job, of man puzzling over God and evil in the world and interactions and some deeper philosophical ideas. Not only does this author see the destruction of Jerusalem, he's also witnessed the invasion itself, as cited in the book. He sees the actual downfall of this great city and of this kingdom which, again, lends itself to the idea of Jeremiah being its author. Job himself dealt with unexplained evil. Jeremiah was more of a lamentation of the tragedy that was entirely Jerusalem's making. It was their own fault. They brought this on themselves. The people of this once great city experienced the holy judgment of God because they did not stick to his commands and walk with him in his ways and instructions, and therefore they paid the price for it. And Jeremiah just got to watch this all happen. So he wrote it down. The heart of this book, though, isn't just the bemoaning of a great city falling, or the bemoaning of his people going into captivity. It's just the evil in this world. Sin in the world is the focus of this book. There are some verses of this book devoted to hope in the Lord, though, as is a proper example. Turn from the evil towards what is good. And this statement of faith stands tall and shines brightly in the midst of all the darkness of the sin in the world. It's meant to be a beacon for those who suffer under sin and disobedience. To look to that light, go to that light, be guided by that light, like a lighthouse. It's not a coincidence. Thank you for joining me for this fun fact of the day. See you again soon.